Welcome back. In the last one, we did the groundwork for the HUD system. And don't worry, we will implement the HUD fully. But in this one, I want to finish off the character class. I want to get the character fully finished off. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And we can fully just go on to making the HUD, adding the shops, and then we're pretty much done. That's basically the whole system. So a few more tutorials down the track and we'll be finished for good. And then you can uh, reap the rewards of having this cool system in your game. So let's um, let's finish the character. This help text that I added here, we're going to get rid of that from the private section. So we'll just copy that. And up here in the public section, we'll paste it in here so it's public. Since we need to access from this from the HUD, what we're going to do is make this a U property. Edit anywhere. Blueprint read write. Category equals HUD. And so this means our um, HUD stuff can actually access it now, which is good. We're also going to make um, the amount of gold the player has. And this is going to be an int32, which stores our gold, obviously. So new property, and in fact, we can just copy this over. So copy that, put that there, and then int32 gold. Very easy. Um, let's see, we've got that. Uh, let's add a couple of kind of boring functions, but we do need to add them, get this work out of the way. So, um, let's see here. Uh, adds. Whoops. Uh, updates the coins. And then we'll say at param amount. This is the amount to update the coins by and can be positive or negative. And we're using this to update the coins because when we buy an item from the shop, we need to call this function to take coins away from the player. Uh, so U function, it's gonna be blueprint callable, which means we can call this from blueprints. And I'm gonna say category equals inventory functions. Now fortunately, we're gonna to have to make about four kind of boring inventory functions, but they do need to be there to make everything work. So uh, void update gold. And the parameter is int32 amount. So we're going to make another one. Adds an item to the inventory, which we still haven't actually made yet, but it's very easy to make an inventory. This is a U function blueprint pure which is slightly different from blueprint callable. Um, and again, category equals inventory functions. Uh, so this is gonna be bool add item to inventory. And then the parameter for that is the pickup that we wanna add to the inventory. So we'll just call that item. And there we go. And it is bull because if we succeed in adding an item to the inventory, we can return true. And if we fail, we can return false. Uh, okay, this one is going to be gets the thumbnail for a given inventory slot. And this is used by the HUD so that when we open up our inventory, it gets the thumbnail for that slot. So that is a blueprint pure again. In fact, we'll just copy this over. And U texture 2D get thumbnail at inventory slot. Okay, I know this is starting to get really lame because you guys are thinking, oh my god, we've, we have to implement all of these? I know, I know, it sucks, but, you know, there are parts of building games where it's like, eh, not that fun, but, you know, you, you got to get through it, so. 
Anyways, the next one is uh, gets the item name for a given inventory slot. And you're probably starting to notice the insane amount of repetition here. These are pretty much very, very similar functions, but they are all very much needed by the HUD, for the HUD to function properly. This one's going to be if string get item name at inventory slot. And that takes in32 slot as a parameter. And in fact, this one also takes it. And then finally, the last one is uses the item at a given inventory slot. These are all going to be very simple to make. So, yeah. New function. Blueprint callable. Category equals inventory functions and this is going to be void use item at inventory slot int32 slot and there we go that is all of our inventory accesses getters whatever and um damn flies buzzing in my in my shop man anyways um uh th those are all the functions so once we implement all these, that's all the HUD needs. And I know, that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of typing just for the header file. We haven't even made these yet, but you know, that that the if you can get through that, this is like the most boring part of the whole uh whole project anyway, so. Under current interactable, we're going to make our inventory. So we're gonna say U property edit anywhere. T array. And our T array stores pickups and it is called inventory now because I've put your property edit anywhere that means that we can actually look at the inventory while we're playing a game and see items being added to it and stuff like that so the players inventory represented by or as a T array of pickup objects I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's really all we need. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, with all that done, that's that's a lot of work. There's a lot of boring functions, but we'll implement those now. The good thing about implementing these functions is they are all relatively easy. There's not a lot of pain in implementing these. They're all very easy. We should get them implemented in maybe five minutes or something. You could even watch this video on 1.5 times while we implement these if you want to get them out of the way a bit faster. But so for this first one, we're going to say gold equals gold plus amount. So take whatever amount of gold the character has and either take money away or add money depending on what we pass in. So that's all we do for update gold. That's the first one out of the way. Add item to inventory is. A little bit more complicated ish. It involves some null checking stuff. So, to add an item to the inventory, we need to first of all null check the item. So, if item is not equal to null, else return false. So, return false there. If the item is not equal to null, get the first available slot. So, const and 32 available slot equals inventory.find null pointer. So look for a null pointer inside of our inventory. And the first slot with a null pointer in it is going to be the first empty slot. So we'll say if the available slot is not equal to index none. So if we actually found a um, available slot then add the item to the inventory, so inventory at the index of the available slot equals the item we passed in, and then return true because we were successful in adding it to the inventory. If we couldn't add it to the inventory, what we're going to do is add an on-screen message, so just 
So you can't carry any more items. And then we'll return false because we weren't able to add the item to the inventory because the player's inventory was full, right? Pretty easy. Um, nothing really too difficult there. So we've added the item to the inventory. The next one, get thumbnail at inventory slot. The magic in this one is that we can basically, for the most part, just sort of copy and paste a lot of stuff in. So, um, to get that, let's see, where, does, where is it? We go. This one's really easy. All we need to do is say, um, if the item we're trying to access, if it's actually there, so if inventory slot is not equal to null, uh, return inventory. Turn the thumbnail. So yeah, and if we can't get the thumbnail, if it's if there's not an item, we'll return a null pointer. So that's the um, pick up thumbnail out of the way. So yeah. Next up is the item name. No, no, I know. Seriously, this this sucks. It, it's really boring. Yeah, even I love coding, and I can admit this part is like super boring, but. Again, we've just got two left, and then we're uh, we're ready to go. So make that. Hopefully, that will implement sometime this year. There we go. Then right. Let, we'll say if we can, and this is exactly the same as this last one, pretty much, with the exception of a couple things. So if the item is there, return the item. And return the name of the item, so item name. If we couldn't get that, then return none. So the HUD will look for this and will say, all right, let's get the item. Oh, can we not get the item? Well, in that case, we'll just display none. So if you don't have an item in a certain inventory slot, it's just going to say none. That's that function out of the way. And again, I feel fear this sucks, but anyways, last function. Get that done, and then this is the character overworth we can get finally onto the HUDs. Finish that up, get the shops done, and that will be the end of that. And we'll have a really cool system to play around with. Or use item at inventory slot. Very easy. Um, if inventory at slot is not equal to null, so if there is an item there, if there is an item there, then use the item. So use underscore implementation. Use the item, and then destroy the item. Delete the item from inventory once used. Quite easy, and that is it. That is every last function we need in the inventory character. See you guys in the next tutorial. We can finally move on to doing the fun stuff like implementing the HUDs, creating the pickups, dragging the pickups into our level and setting it up. So that's the heavy lifting out of the way. I'll see you guys in the next video.